Hi, I'm making this video after having some internet issues. If your internet isn't working and you're getting the message, Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration, this video should help you. I'll share my knowledge as to how I got it to work. First of all, I tried the troubleshooting and when I did finish the troubleshooting, I would get this message. Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration and my internet was working fine and then one day I turned it on and I noticed that there was a message no internet access and there was a yellow exclamation mark um, and a, a point and you can see the screenshots here as to what I'm talking about. I searched Google and YouTube and I attempted several suggested fix fixes which took a couple of hours and then I searched forums and found a conversation thread that simply said this happened to my computer as well don't waste your time going through the videos without first attempting to shut your computer off then unplug it from the wall and let it sit for 30 minutes replug and this problem will be fixed. I didn't believe it, but I was frustrated as I'd spent a couple of hours following videos and blog instructions on how to fix the problem. I uh, tried to change the device manager settings, the network adapters to see if the Ethernet was disabled. I used the command prompt suggestions, that didn't work. I used the IP config suggestions, that didn't work. I don't want to waste your time with all the fixed suggestions that I tried. But I, I thought I would create this video and hoping that it will be found by others who have the same issue. It'll save you a ton of time if you first try turning off your computer and unplugging it from the wall and let it sit for 30 minutes. I noticed there was a comment on this thread as well where someone said that they didn't let it sit for 30 minutes. They only let it sit for 10 and it worked. So I did let mine sit for 30 minutes though and it worked. So good luck and I hope this helps you. If not, there are a ton of suggestions out there and I personally love Windows 10 and I think that the issues we have are usually user related. I'm not sure why I had to just unplug and replug in but that worked and it would have saved me a lot of time if I had found a video suggesting this first. So I hope that this helps you. Have a fantastic day and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.